Welcome back to Inside Weiermann, the video series that brings our malt house to your brew house. My name is Axel Jani, I'm the team leader of the international customer consultants here at Weiermann and today I'm excited to take you along to our distillery here on site and we will be talking about distilling malts. <music> Whereas in the brewery, your uh, emphasis on the um, mashing regime as well as later on in fermentation is more towards the balance between body and alcohol production. Of course, in a distilled product, your focus is much more on producing as much alcohol, first of all. And therefore, in your base malts that are being used in distilleries, you look at a high diastatic uh, power. So um, the Weiermann base malts, um, the distilling base malts are um, produced, um, whereas we lay the focus in um, the production of a lot of beta amylase as well as alpha amylase and uh, um, um, dextrinases as well. Um, but they are a, a solid base to get enough enzymes into the whiskey mesh, for example, to later on have a beautiful balanced uh, whiskey. If you are a brewer watching this and thinking about, okay, wow, di high diastatic malt, can I use it also in the brewery? Yes, you can. Um, the benefit there is, for example, if you are brewing with uh, uh, raw grain, uh, unmalted um, uh, grains, you can get the portion of the enzymes from our high diastatic malt or if you want to brew a very strong beer and you just require that little bit more oomph when it comes to the uh, sugar conversion. So therefore it's also a good addition. In whiskey production you can of course use 100% uh, base malt uh, to produce a white dog and then over time in the barrel it will uh, start to get the complexity and the aromas um, that you are expecting from a whiskey. However, um, you also have the opportunity to use caramel malts in your mash and these caramel malts as a portion in your um, base malt um, are giving you a head start. Um, so you are already imparting beautiful flavors of uh, caramel notes, of toffee notes, even if you go um, with a quite um, strong caramel malt from the flavor components, you almost get chocolate notes and, and coffee notes already in a very young whiskey. So by using caramel malts in addition to the base malts, you have a matured, well-balanced flavor and aroma profile much earlier. And um, you might drink a three-year-old whiskey and have that impression, wow, this is already going towards the older brothers of six years, eight years in a barrel. Um, so that is really uh, the, uh, the beauty of using caramel malts in whiskey. In case you even want to enhance the complexity of your whiskey mash, um, in addition to the base and the caramel malts, you also have the option to use one of our two smoked malt varieties, the beechwood smoked barley malt or the oak smoked wheat are giving an additional push uh, in the aroma profile and are certainly a great addition to uh, your distilling uh, spirit as well. Behind me you see the Weiermann distillery um, just as the same philosophy that we have with our brewery, where we are brewing with our products in order to be able to talk to you um, solidly about our malts and the beer recipes. It's the same here with the whiskey. Um, our whiskey distillery and um, Philip Schwartz, our distiller master, are continuously distilling spirits um, so that um, we can see and develop um, what flavors can be achieved uh, with our caramel malts. And um, I also brought along today three of our 
uh, four whiskies that we have um, um, produced here um, and uh, brought them out onto the market. Um, for example, this was our first one uh, two years ago. It's been in the barrels for over three years. Um, then here the 140 was our anniversary whiskey uh, released last year. And again, um, they do have a solid portion of caramel malts um, in the malt bill and they give that flavor, uh, that beautiful aged flavor at a, a stage where other whiskies might still remain or have to remain in a barrel to uh, get their smoothness. Um, right in front of me I have our rye whiskey. Um, rye uh, grown here in Franconia and then brought into our own grain elevator. Um, it's, rye is a, is, is a grain that is uh, very close to our heart and we are quite proud to have 100% uh, rye whiskey recipe uh, produced with 85% um, base rye with all the enzyme activity plus 15% of our very uh, nice tasting um, um, cara rye, so it comes from our caramel um, uh, drums, caramelization drums. Um, so a solid base for a beautiful rye whiskey. I do hope you enjoyed our excursion into uh, distilling malts today and I hope to see you soon. Bye.